Do subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon, and never miss any notifications from my channel. Hello, guys, welcome to Nickel Army. In this video, I am going to tell you about what is a vaccine, how many types of diseases are there, and different between those diseases and the pandemic diseases that change the world. So, without wasting our time, let's start this video. Guys, now let's know what is a vaccine. A vaccine is a biological preparation that improves immunity to a particular disease and vaccine helps to kill the forms of the microbes or its toxins. Guys, now let's know how many types of diseases are there. There are two types of diseases, viral diseases and bacterial diseases. Guys, now let's know the pandemic diseases that change the world. Guys, now let's know what is cholera. Cholera is a pandemic disease caused by eating or drinking food or water contaminated with a bacterium called Vibro cholerae. Guys, now let's know the symptoms of cholera. The symptoms of cholera are large amount of watery diarrhea means the presence of more diarrhea in water and vomiting etc. Now let's know the complications of cholera. First, let's know the meaning of complications. The difficulties caused by a particular disease is called complications. The complications of cholera are dehydration and etc. Guys, now let's know the usual onset of cholera. But first let's know the meaning of usual onset. The time taken by a disease to be known to us that we got a particular disease is called usual onset. The usual onset of cholera is 2 hours to 5 days after expose. Guys, now let's know the duration of cholera. The duration of cholera is a few days. Now let's know the frequency of cholera. The frequency of cholera is 3 to 5 million people and the deaths of cholera disease are 28,800 in 2015. And the cholera disease was started in 1817 and the vaccine founder of cholera disease was James Perrin in 1885. Guys, now let's know about polio. I included polio in this list because polio is a permanent disease. If we get polio, we should suffer lifelong. That's why small children below 5 years are given polio drops. And the polio was first started in the year 1894. And the vaccine founder of polio is Dr. Jonas Salk in 1995 from USA. The symptoms of Polio disease are muscle weakness, inability to move, etc. The complications of polio disease are post polio syndrome and the usual onset of polio are few hours to days. The cause of polio disease is spread from one person mouth to another person mouth and the frequency of polio disease is 136 in 2018. Guys, now let's know what is TB. The full form of TB is tuberculosis. Due to its infectious nature, chloric process and long treatment, TB is a great burden for society. The symptoms of TB are fever, weight loss, chloric cough and cough with bloody mucus. And the cause of TB disease is microbacterium tuberculosis. And the frequency of TB disease is 25% people of the world. The deaths by TB disease are 1.5 million in 2018. The vaccine founder of TB disease is Albert Calmity and Camille Garand in 1921 from France. Guys, now let's know what is plague. Plague is a disease where it is spread by fleas, rats and etc. And there are three types of plagues. Now let's know when these three types of plagues started and ended. The symptoms of plague disease are fever, weakness, headache. 
usual onset of plague disease is 1 to 7 days after exposure the three types of plague are bubonic plague septicemic plague and pneumonic plague the bubonic plague was started in 1346 and ended in 1353 the septicemic plague was started in 1348 and ended in 1350 The pneumonic plague was started in 1910 and ended in 1911. The frequency of plague disease is 600 cases a year and the vaccine founder of plague disease is Alexander Yershin in 1895 from France. Before going to number 1 disease, let's know the difference between viral and bacterial diseases. Viral diseases are not considered to be living because they require a host cell to survive long term. for energy and to reproduce and bacterial diseases are single cell and they have a cell wall and components necessary to survive and reproduce guys now let's know what is spanish flu spanish flu is a disease which symptoms are same to coronavirus covid-19 but it affected people severely now let's know why spanish flu started and how many people died by this disease and how people took preventions in those days the spanish flu was started in february 1918 and ended in april 1920 and the birthplace of spanish flu is spain and spanish flu does not have any vaccine more than 5 crores deaths in world and 1 crore 40 lakhs above deaths in india Now let's know why Spanish flu started. The Spanish flu was started because of poor hygienic food and water by army workers during World War I. The first case recorded in India was in June 1918 in Bombay for a ship worker when carrying troops from Europe to India. The preventions taken by the people in those days are washing their hands, maintaining the distance and the countries like USA and Europe and on so the lockdown now let's know the deaths caused by the spanish flu in some countries in finland 20000 died out of 2 lakh 10000 infected in japan 3 lakh 90000 died out of 2 crore 3 lakh infected in indonesia 15 lakh died out of 3 crore infected in brazil 3 lakh died including president rodrigo salves in usa about 28% of the population that is 10 crore 50 lakh became infected and 5 lakh to 8 lakh 5000 died that is 0.48 to 0.81% of the population in spain 1 lakh 86000 died in britain 2 lakh 50000 died in france more than 4 lakh dead in sweden 3000 died in new zealand 6400 died and our national leader mahatma gandhi also got this virus when he came from south africa to gujarat and then his age was 48 years and he took preventions in his ashram and got saved from the virus and the spanish flu was the deadliest pandemic in human history the difference between coronavirus and spanish flu are coronavirus 60 plus age people mostly get this disease and spanish flu age between 20 to 40 years people mostly get this disease and women are mostly affected The Spanish flu lockdown was conducted very strictly than coronavirus lockdown and the Spanish flu symptoms are same to coronavirus but if we get Spanish flu our skin turns into blue there are four waves in Spanish flu first wave earlier 1918 second wave 1918 third wave 1919 fourth wave 1920 and the different names of Spanish flu are 1918 flu pandemic called by world and bombay fever called by india now let's know the preventions to be taken to avoid these diseases number 1 cholera drinking clean water and washing hands number 2 polio taking polio drops below 5 years number 3 tb taking bcg vaccine at born time or small time number 4 plague taking plague vaccine when we got plague number 5 spanish flu keeping our body clean maintaining distance and wearing mask by this video i'm going to tell you that please take the given preventions and stay at home and stay safe in 1918s people did not got saved from the spanish flu the deadliest disease because of the weak medical system now with all developed medical system why we cannot get saved from the coronavirus 
and we have to follow these prevention to get saved from the coronavirus very mask washing our hands developing our immunity system by vitamins b6 b12 c d e and zinc so this is the end of this video if you like this video like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel nikhil army i'll see you in my next video bye bye take care jai hind jai bharat like a hell cut